Hi, my name is Brenda, and uh, welcome to a foam roller session where I'm going to title this one, Roll It Out to Help Get Over Those Sore Muscles. So we are going to work on the IT band. I had a couple of people ask me about that last week, so I'll address that today. So foam rollers, if you don't already have one, you can get one at the Collins Aerospace Rec Center. You also can go online, www.optp.com to order one. You might be able to find it one at one of the vendors here in town as well. Uh, I talked about this last week and I wanted to bring it out. I have a mini one that I take on trips with me, uh, especially when we go long places in the car, um, and that way I can work on my back and, and things that may get tight. So you can get a, a short one for travel or you can get that one only. The only problem is you can't lay on it because it's not quite long enough when we do the supine uh, spinal motions. So I'm going to put the small one aside and we're going to go ahead and, and get started and we are going to work from the bottom up today. So we're going to start on our calves. So go ahead and take a seat and what we're going to do is we're going to put it right above our ankles and we're just going to slide the foam roller to right above our knee joint, right below it I should say. So from ankles to right below the knees. So you can slide your bottom on the ground. Or if you need more weight, more intensity, you want to pick it up so you get to work your core, a bonus. I talked about that last week as well. So a bonus, you get to work your core. So you can do it bottom on the ground, you need more intensity, bottom up. You need even more intensity. You can put one leg on top of the other and then your bottom leg is going to get more weight and more pressure. So you can go straight up and down, or you can kind of roll in and roll out. So again, if the pressure is too much, go ahead and slide your bottom on the ground or unstack. So let's make sure if we've stacked, we also stack the opposite leg on top. And again, bottom up or bottom down. Again, you can wiggle in and out, rock side to side. If you find a spot that's talking to you that says, ah, oh, that's kind of tight, that's 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 uncomfortable. Hang out there, breathe, try to relax into it. If it doesn't release and let go, take some pressure out by setting your bottom down or eliminate it. So let's go ahead and unstack. And sometimes the foam roller walks away from me. You just pick it up, bring it back. Again, you can wiggle in and out. So that's our calves. Now we're going to flip it over and do our shins. So we're going to be right above the ankle joint again. And now we're going to slide it up to right below the knee joint and right above the ankle. The more that you're on your foam roller, the easy it will be for you to control and manipulate and, and uh, feel comfortable on it. You can also go to the outside, the anterior tibialis. That's where most people have most of the tightness. So now let's go ahead. We're going to pretend like we need more. So if you don't need more, just do the single legs. Or, um, straddled, or I should say, where you're not stacked. If you want to stack, put one across the other ankle, like you're trying to cross your ankles, and you're going to do the same thing. Right above the ankles, right below the knee. You know, eight to ten times, again, you might find a spot that's a little tender, and you want to hang out there and breathe and try to relax into it to let some of that tension go. So it's called trigger points, tight spots. Again, we're trying to get the muscles to move better, feel better. So we're gonna roll it out to help get over our tightness and our soreness, help get over. We've uncrossed one ankle and done the other side. And now let's go ahead and finish on both. So if you happen to find one of the rolling sequences that we do today, just to be too painful, just don't do it. Just sit, watch, take notes, take a drink. Now we're going to go to the back side of our legs, our hamstrings. So now we're going to start above the knee joint. We're going to start with the bottom on the ground and you're going to be able to go so far with your bottom down or you can have bottom up. So depending especially on the length of your legs um, or the amount of tightness you have, you might have to keep your, your bottom down the whole time. You just won't be able to roll quite so much. So double legs where they're not stacked, just parallel. And again, same thing, you can roll in and out. So you go above the knees, right below the gluteal fold. 
And then you're like, you know, I think I need a little more. We're going to stack. I'm going to cross one leg on top of the other. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, one of the things that's nice about using the foam roller is the more you use it, the looser those legs will get or body parts. Um, so it's nice. They don't, they're not quite so sensitive. So it becomes a more pleasant thing. Same thing, you roll in and out. Let's go ahead and cross the other leg. Again, adjust your foam roller if it started to walk away from you. And again, right below the gluteal folds, right above the knee joint, you can roll in and out. A little cross fiber is what I like to call it. So again, we're getting the hamstrings. All right, so let's go ahead and parallel the legs again. And go up and down a few times. Again, bottom up or bottom down, depending upon how much pressure you need to actually to feel some of that soreness or tightness is really what we're looking for. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to get the what I call the ugly one done first. Uh, and it's because most people tend to make an ugly face when they do it. They grimace a little. So that IT band. So think of a pinstripe down the side of your leg. We're going to shoot for that. Some people need to go a little to the front of it. Some people need to go to the little back of it. If you go to the back side, it's more of a, of a lateral hamstring, and that's okay too. We're just trying to find what's tight, make it looser, so we can help get over that soreness and tightness. So, best way to do it is start on your side, so right above your hip, your pel, uh, your hip bone. Most people like to cross one leg in front to take some of the pressure out, and then use their hands again to take some of the pressure out or your body weight. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to roll up. So you kind of walk up and down. You're going to go right above the knee. And then you're going to go right above the hip bone. If you're like, oh, I don't really feel anything, just kind of come a little bit forward on your, on your thigh, on your quad. So again, depending upon where you're tight from what you do. And then if you're like, I don't feel anything, go a little posterior. And then if you need more, you're going to stack your thighs. All right? So this is pretty intense. This is where, like, I'm grimacing here a little. I'm a little not groaning, but I'm grimacing. Got some tight spots there from, from my bike riding outdoors. So again, most people don't like to stack on the IT band. They like one leg in front. Let's go ahead, if you stacked, unstacked, do a couple more rolls. And then let's go ahead and go to the other side. So again, like I said, the bonus is you get a little core work, a little upper arm work as well. So let's start top leg in front with the knee bent, one or both hands. And then you're going to, again, slide above the, right above the knee joint to right above the hip bone. Just go up and down. Make sure you breathe. Your abdominals are engaged to help support you so your arms don't have to do all the work. Again, getting that bonus. And then go a little, little to the front if you don't feel anything, or even if you do, go to the front and see what happens. So no way, bad way to roll, just other, don't roll over your joints. Don't roll over your neck, over your uh, Adam's apple. Now let's go a little posterior. So back side. And sometimes you'll find one side of your body, one, one leg, one arm, maybe a little tighter than the other. That's okay, just be aware of it. We're not perfectly balanced, even though we'd like to be. And if you want, stack. And ooh, 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 ooh. see where you're at. <laughs> so I'm not able to completely stack on this side without making it so uncomfortable that I don't want to do it. So that's too much pressure. So if you go, oh man, ooh, or makes you want to cry, too much. All right. Now let's go ahead and do quadriceps, front part of our thighs. It's another one that tends to be pretty tight on people. So you would start above the, um, above the, uh, the crease of the hip, and then you kind of just walk yourself out on your forearms, so right above your knees. So you roll forward and back. If your feet drag on the ground, that's okay. Don't have to worry about keeping them up. And then you can kind of turn your toes out. And that way you'll get a little bit more of the inner part, inner part of your quadricep muscle grouping. And then you can kind of try to roll to the outside. So internally rotated with your toes. So like you're trying to get your toes and your knees to look at each other. We'll get a little bit more of the outside of your quadricep. And then if you're like, you know, that's pretty, pretty easy. I don't feel anything at all. 
it's kind of hard to stack when you do a quad to do a double quad I like to straddle it so you just put one leg out here and you walk up and down and then you might be able to see if that works better for you you can try to stack one leg on top of the other I just find it feels a little more awkward and harder for me to control but again we're all made differently we all work differently and then restack the other leg on top again you might find one leg is a little tighter than the other just be aware of it I encourage you to foam roll at least once a week you can do it more you can do it every day I usually get on mine for at least five or ten minutes every day while I'm watching the news or just hanging out all right unstack so legs in parallel in and out a few more times all right so now we're gonna get our hips so or our glutes we're going to do uh, the gluteal uh, muscle groups um, and also get in that piriformis a lot of people have heard of that sciatica it's not quite the same but um, so we're gonna let's let's go ahead and sit on our right glute so lean onto the right side and your left leg you can make what I call a figure four or you can call it a triangle so you're leaning onto your right glute and you're gonna just roll through the glute itself so just think about that bun and roll up and down you might need to go in and out depending upon where you're tight and if you do it a lot you get to the point same thing where you're like I don't feel anything and then you need more pressure so more core too so it's a bonus and then you go up and down same thing you might roll in or roll out a little bit to try to find what I call those sticky points and again if you find a spot you're like I just want to hang out there and relax because that feels kind of good sometimes you get a little warming sensation and then again if it's too much pressure foot down you can even uncross and just roll onto one side and then let's go ahead and change sides so most people that I work with that's that's quite intense um, I'm not gonna brag on myself but I will tell you that I feel nothing when I do that and that's because I get on the foam roller religiously and I also get on my tuna balls so now we're gonna roll over onto our left glute we're gonna cross our left ankle above our right knee and we're just gonna kind of same thing roll around in there you can wiggle in and out if you need more and you're like ah, I don't feel any soreness any tightness foot off the ground and you're gonna do the same thing so that then you can play with it figure out where you're at so you can find a spot tight spot some people it's the top part of their glute medial glute and they just hang out there and they just kind of rock side to side so again I like to tell people as long as you don't roll over a joint there's not a, not a bad way to roll so you'll find a spot let's go ahead and put the foot down and now we're gonna go on to our backs so we're gonna put the foam roller perpendicular with our spine to start with and our arm movement is is uh, something that we tradition not traditionally but I traditionally do in a, a yoga class where we're just circling the arms as we keep our spine still and then we're gonna go both directions so we're just circle bend the elbows forearms together so demonstrating that so that you can see it because it's hard to see it with me laying down so you want to put your bottom on your foam roller and your head too if it's uncomfortable for you to have your head down I encourage you to get a pillow put it on there so if you have a hard time keeping your head down because you have a little bit of a forward head put that up there so it's more comfortable don't need it don't use it all right so it's on our spine our heads down we're gonna just take those arms and we're gonna do the arm circles so no rolling involved just arm movements without trying to change the position of your spine as you lay on your foam roller again you may or may not feel anything don't worry we're just getting things working up warming up reverse directions so now go down through the middle and then reverse so it doesn't matter which way you're going as long as you've changed directions all right and now arms out to your side palms up you're just gonna rock side to side and to the outside of your spine you might find some spots you're like oh, I just want to kind of hang out there or kind of want to wiggle around and that's okay you might want to slide the arm up and down 
where you're like, oh, I don't really feel anything. You go to the other side, you're like, oh, wow. So I call like snow angel arms. And then just finish side to side. All right, so now what we're gonna do is our reach and round. So we're gonna pretend like we're hugging one of those big redwoods out in California, or we're big circle with our arms, and then we're gonna retract and squeeze. Think about squeezing the foam roller with your shoulder blades. Reach and round, so you're rounding your back, and then retract and squeeze. Reach and round, retract and squeeze. Again, even if you don't feel anything, trust me, it's doing something for you. Reach and round, retract and squeeze. Reach and round and hold. Make sure you're not arching your low back and then retract and squeeze and hold. And then take your arms out to your side. If you feel a chest opening it, just by putting your arms out to the side, you need to make sure that you do this consistently. Just hang in a passive position to help open up your chest, your pectoral muscles. All right, so now we're going to go and put the foam roller top right above the top part of our glutes and we're going to support our hand our head with our hands lightly don't yank on the head you can even put your fingers by your ears to make sure you don't yank on it and then you're going to you can have bottom on the ground or bottom up you're going to walk the foam roller up and down your spine so again right above the glutes so right above the shoulder blades, this is where a lot of times it'll grab your shirt and you just have to yank it out of there. If by chance, you know, you want to do it shirtless or with a, uh, a YVAC uh, sports bra on, that works great. It doesn't tend to drag your shirt with you and then you just kind of grab and pull it out. So it doesn't hurt anything. You might hear some popping, some crunching. Again, the foam roller will tend to walk with you as you slide in and out. So again, if you need more pressure, bottom up. Again, light support with the head, with the hands. Don't yank on your head. Do a couple more. And now we're gonna work just a little bit on thoracic extension of our spine. So we're gonna put the foam roller at our lowest rib. Again, our hands lightly supporting our head or by our ears. And we're gonna go back just as far as we can over time, the head will touch the ground. We're gonna bring the elbows together. We're gonna to open them up. We're gonna tuck our chin and we're gonna roll up. And then we're gonna roll the foam roller up an inch or two. Again, bottom stays down, not up. Go into extension. Open and close your elbows, tuck your chin and roll up. Keep your bottom down. Slide it up an inch or two again. Go back as far as you comfortably can. Over time, again, the head touches the ground. Open your elbows, close your elbows, tuck your chin, roll up. If your shirt started to slide with you, grab it, pull her down, but keep your bottom down. You do it again, and up an inch or two, thoracic extension, open, close, tuck the chin, roll up. And now we're just gonna roll up and down with the bottom, staying connected to our floor. You can always put your arms across your chest too. So again, just don't yank on the head. Good job. So now we're gonna go and finish with our neck. So I wanna make sure the bottom stays down the whole time so your butt stays down. We don't put that much pressure on our neck. We're gonna put the foam roller behind our head, the base of our cranium. So watch your hair if you've got it sticking out so that you don't yank and pull on it because that's not comfortable. So we're, again, base of our cranium and we're just gonna go side to side. Let's turn your head side to side. You can go nice and slow. A lot of people, this feels wonderful. And they just kind of want to do this and not do anything else. And that's okay. So sometimes I'll even get the foam roller out and I'll read in this position for about five or 10 minutes and then I'll come off it. So you don't want to stay on it forever in that position. So you can rock side to side. You can nod your head. Yes. So I call this no, a nice, a slow no. And then a yes. And then you could just hang out and let the weight of your head, you might find some spots. You can go up a half an inch or down an inch or whatever and find where you tend to be tender. But again, always have your bottom down when you're on your neck. All right. So when you're ready, go ahead and roll your right. Come on up to seated. 
So thank you for being part of the uh, foam roller. Uh, roll it out, work it out, get rid of some of those tight spots and, uh, and sore spots. Again, I encourage you to definitely weekly. You can do it more often than that. And uh, have a great one. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye.